It was an interesting lecture, but I have to say, I found a couple of parts confusing. Really? Like what? Well, he said that language change is inevitable, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's like a living thing. I guess that means all living things develop, change, you know? Okay, and that we can't stop change from happening. Is that how everyone took it? So far, we're with you. But later, he seemed to say that groups choose to change language. That is, they use slang because they want to make a statement or create their own identities. Yeah, okay. So what's the confusion? Well, presumably, if they can choose to change language by using slang, that means they can also choose not to use it, right? And if they can choose not to use it... Ah, then they're not changing. They're choosing not to change the language. It's a choice, you're saying. I see your point. Thank you. So, isn't that a contradiction? No, I don't think so. What he meant was that language change will happen generally. That there will always be events, groups, or someone out there playing with the language, creating slang. Right. Maybe it's because communication requires us to adapt to new conditions. So we change the language to adapt. That's the inevitable part. It's going to happen. History shows us that. Oh, okay. But it isn't inevitable in any particular group or in any particular case. You're right about that. Individuals have a choice about how they speak. Makes sense? Yeah, yeah. I think I get it now. Hey. Thanks, guys. That was a sweet explanation. <laughs>